Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Marie. And today we have a what's sold on eBay for you. So we'll start off with this first one here. This is a MTSU State University. That's a local school for us here. In Murfreesboro. Uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Yep, picked this up at the thrift store up in Murfreesboro. It's a vintage one, so it's King Louis, size small. Uh, has like a hood, uh, like a hooded sweatshirt almost kind of built in underneath of it. But most of our jackets we get for five ninety nine, and we sold it for thirty nine ninety five. This is a pair of nurse mates. Nurse mates are exactly what they sound like they are, nursing shoes. <laughs> kind of a clog type of thing. Not not quite on the level of Dansko. They are a little bit softer on the feet, but real popular and uh, they're very comfortable shoes. You pick these up. They, they don't go for a ton of money, but when you can get them half price sometimes, you know, they pick them up. So we got these for $24.95. This is a pair of Calso Earth, which is always a good brand to buy. I always seem to sell these no matter what. They kind of have mostly shoes, uh, shoes and boots, very, very much a comfort brand, kind of, kind of, I don't want to use the word ugly, but you know what I'm saying, you know, in a, ugly in a Birkenstock kind of way, <laughs> where they got wide toe boxes and uh, they have a, I think they have a drop in the back or a zero drop, so they're made for that comfort, but $5.99, of course, and sold it for $39.95. Let's go back to this one here. Echo shoes always, you know, we pick up Echo because they're just our, something that always sells. We always do the bend test on them. You don't get big dollars for these Echoes. Now, Echo Biome sneakers you make some serious money on, but just go through the sizes, you know, and look up the size chart. These are size 42, which is women's 11, and got them for $5 and sold them for 30 Orvis is always a good brand of men's clothing. Uh, you want to look it up each time, though, because not all Orvis brings money, but these heavier type shirts seem to really have a good draw. So, I mean, this one shirt, you know, which we get for $4.99, we sold for $40. So just, you know, these are shirts are meant to be worn, so always check for, for wear. But they, they, did, they did very well. Right, and Orvis sometimes that market's a little bit flooded, so like she said, yeah. More unusual, Look it up. you know, yeah. really nice, you know, your plain old uh, cotton Oxford shirt, probably not, but this was a really heavyweight, heavy cotton, almost a corduroy flannel type of thing. Here's another pair of Kelso Earth, speaking of those. Again, they always seem to sell. It's, you know, as you can see, they're more of a comfort shoe. This particular one sold for forty nine ninety five more than the boots even you know so they they have what's called a negative heel so these are a, a real common I you know I find them from time just remember they're not Earth spirits <laughs> they're they'll say Earth sometimes and then the older style next to it you'll see it'll say Calso or Calso Earth but not Earth spirit so right yep. Big difference in the price there. Yeah, you know, or spirits or, or even or being Walmart. able to sell them. Yeah, for that matter. Yeah. And Birkenstocks, of course, nothing else needs to be said about those. I this is just the basic Boston taupe slip-on Birkenstocks. Uh, you know, be be careful about the 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 footprint thing on the Birkenstocks. People can get even these, which are the filled in. The filled in means narrow. Well, if anybody's put on a pair of Birkenstocks, even the filled-in ones are, are more of a medium. You know, they're really not. But, you know, I've, I've listed them as a medium with, and I've been corrected. These are narrow. Well, there's, they, there's either filled-in or not filled-in. So. so the moral of the story is take a picture of the footprints. Absolutely. So that way they know this is a must on Birkenstocks. You cannot skip this picture right. on Birkenstocks. Yeah, so. they, people are, or they will just wear you out over them. Yeah. So. But all Birkenstocks sell. I mean, but you want to make sure they're in good shape. I mean, the heels, I mean, they wear out very quickly, actually, you know, so look and at the tread. people don't let go of these either, no, generally. Exactly. So you don't so, see a lot of them in really good shape at the thrift right, store. Right, exactly. These used to be, these were actually mine, you know, personally. So. Yeah. But when you do, grab them. And, and even the ones that aren't in super Pristine great condition. shape sometimes. Yes, exactly, can, yeah. Yep, especially the standard. 
Harley Davidson. Well, what can you say about Harley Davidson? Uh, Harley mm -hmm. stuff sells. People will buy it. I don't care what it is. It might take a while. It's not going to sell overnight necessarily, but it it will definitely sell. And this is no exception. This is just a what is this like a I guess a fleece kind of what is no, this? No, just a, just a heavy, just heavy a really, weight yeah, long sleeve. Shirt, yeah. That's a polo or a rugby. Oh, rugby shirt. Yeah, either yeah. one, polo, yeah. rugby. I, I however, could, should read there. Yeah. there. There you go. But yeah. always look for the Harley Davidson Motors uh, tag like this one here, mm -hmm. uh, just to make sure it's it's real because this stuff is duplicated or faked or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes right. people yeah. print it if it's on a just a regular shirt. So this is a Fit Flop. We've you know talked about these brands before. Fit Flop sells. It's a consistent seller, but not for high dollars. But and it depends on what you buy your shoes for. So if you buy them at a reasonable price, $30 is a good turnaround on $5. So um, they, they do sell consistently. They have, they have flip flops and which is, you'll see a lot of those. Those seem to get really worn out. And then they have shoes like these loafers and, and even a pair of lace up shoes I found in the past, but these were like in excellent condition. And for our, our friends that are maybe new to, to shoes, um, this is a kilty, right? That's a kilty, mm -hmm. right? So that's this little ruffles. Uh, this little ruffles here, yeah. the little kilt. It's like wearing a kilt. That's yeah. the way I remember it. Yeah. It's like that's a, a kilt. double kilty. It's a double kilty. So there's two kilts there, two little yeah. layers yeah. of that right here on this. Double kilty penny loafer. Yeah, it's and you could have on. double kilty tassel loafers yeah, with dub, full, if yeah. they've got little tassels on them. And it's full a strap because is, the strap goes all the way around to the bottom of the shoe. And what makes it a penny loafer is a slot up here at the top. Yeah, so, exactly. So, yeah, but, right about there. You know, so. the other thing too is as you when you start listing shoes and you're getting familiar with everything and you're trying to. You know, go through other listings and look at the way some people describe them. Don't don't copy someone's listing that's this super short little thing. Go for the, the guy that's used every single possible character he can in that listing line. And, and it's all, and it's, you'll really get some great ideas on what to, because the more you put in there, the more hits you're going to get. Right, um, but be sure you're looking at the same exact shoe. Sometimes right. you can make the mistake of exactly. grabbing a listing that says something like, if it said tassel kilty, you it's not going to be the correct description for this, for example. Yeah. Or if it said, you know, something different. So just be sure, it, even if it, because sometimes people make mistakes on their listings mm -hmm. too. Oh, So yes. double check it. If you see two or three that are saying the same thing, then you're pretty sure it's it's right. Especially when they come up with the names of shoes, you know, like that's the, let's say the Darcy model. People get them things wrong all the time. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I'll go out to Google and search, say, flip-flops Darcy and see if I get a shoe that looks exactly like the one I have to make sure that the person's co listing I'm copying actually had it right. Yeah. You know. Okay. Mephisto, Mephisto sells. Um, it, it's a very expensive shoe, um, but I have a pair of Mephisto sandals I've had that are, like, brand new. I've had forever. I don't know why they won't sell. But Mephisto's break down. The soles break down all the time. I can't tell you twice a week I'll find a pair that, oh my gosh, they look great. And I give them the bend test and that sole just snaps right in half. So be very careful with Mephisto. Mm -hmm. And these sold for $39.95. They're not in pristine shape. No, but they're uh -uh. Still, they've got know, a little still, extra wear on them, really. But they've got a good following. So if somebody likes these shoes, they're going to yep. pick them up. Mm-hmm. Okay. This Ebony. is just some crazy <laughs> jacket that I found at one of our local little thrift stores, and we covered it in our haul video. It's just, I don't, you know, I had to look it up because I'm like, surely this, you know, but, and I don't know, we just got it because it, it, people actually buy these, well, you know? Yeah, you know, there's, there's photographer jackets, they call them, where they've got lot, there's tons of pockets on this thing, or a fisherman's jacket. Yeah. So we decided to go for both by calling it the fisherman photography jacket. Right. I, we put um, everything in you there. You put those keywords in there. If somebody's looking for a fisherman jacket with lots of pockets, they're going to find it. If they're looking for a safari jacket to wear to, right. you know, on the, on the Serengeti, then they, yeah. when they go on their photo shoot, 
I mean, this thing's got uh, everything on it. Stuff in the back, stuff in the front. Yeah, I mean, inside. there's a pocket everywhere. And you want to try to cover, you know, you want to try to photograph as many of these pockets and things like that as you can. Uh, I mean, you know, I've got zip things. and snap and hooded yeah. and uh, everything because it's got everything going on. Yeah. But that sold pretty quick. Yeah. Fifty nine ninety five, not right. bad. Right, and spent five ninety nine on it. Right. Pair of Uggs. Everybody um, knows Uggs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uggs, you, do, you look for the quality. You know, that's what you're looking for. Of all things, the, there was this other lady there at the thrift store, and she picked them up, and she says, do you think these will fit you? And I'm like, yeah. She says, oh, here, they don't fit me that well, and handed me the boots. And I'm <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. So for five ninety nine, I got this really nice pair of Ugg boots. And I mean, they were in excellent shape, really. I mean, and sold them for sixty dollars. Right. Okay. Always check to make sure yeah. the Uggs are real. Look this for the holo the, they, There's like a the hologram here. Yeah, in here. exactly. You know. That, so uh, yep. And, but yeah, mainly this hologram. This thing here, it it doesn't really show in the picture as well, but it is kind of a, it kind of. Uh, you know, this hologram. Right, it's and look, in the, look for the look at the Sherpa lining, and, and and you know, honestly, assess whether you would put your bare foot in that. Yeah. Because they can get pretty funky. And the weight too. Sometimes yeah. if it's a if it's not if it's real super light, that's probably probably a fake. not a, yeah. a yeah. yeah. These are Durangos. You know, this is a pretty common boot that you're gonna find. Uh, I believe these were men's. No, these are women's, and I had to look them up because. Boots are called different things. So this is Durango Women's Harness Leather Biker Ankle Boot with Zipper. And I put the style number in there because it's shorter. It doesn't come up to your knee. It's got that the big ring on it, which makes it the harness type. And they're almost a biker type boot because they have the squared off toe. So I put everything in there that it could possibly be. But these, these were in really nice condition, you know. And... We pay seven ninety nine for boots here, so we sold that for forty nine ninety five. Yeah, yep. so seven into fifty is good. These these <laughs> Georgia are mud weird. Dogs. Georgia mud dogs stumbled upon these, and they're size five, very small. But the reason I bought them is they were in really great shape. So, but yeah, they sold, and they've also been returned. So yeah, they, <laughs> they were. were too small. For them, I don't know. If we've they... had them for a while too. Oh, forever. They're, so I mean, probably a brand yeah. we might not pick up again. No, I don't no, know why. No. Yeah. We might have been our one of our older ones. And you live and learn, you know, as you do this. Yeah, the exactly. Longer you do it, you more you know. Okay. Yeah, that's a pair of uh, Aldens. Aldens are always a good shoe, uh, no matter what. These are very old Aldens. These are. Uh, it took me a while to find them you know, a, a comparable listing. So I knew really what to call it because they're so plain compared to the current Aldens. And they have all kinds of weird sizing in it. What you're looking at there, it says 10 and a half B slash D. One is the heel width. One is the shoe width. It, it's just, it's very interesting. But Aldens are almost a handmade type of shoe. And these are a derby shoe, which means totally plain in the front, just plain Jane. Um, they're, and they have a little bit of a pebble to the leather. So I put that in there too, but these are a very vintage shoe, very interesting sole on them. But, um, you can tell they weren't worn much because the gold printing is still in there. And that, that particular Alden is their older thing. So I paid $6 and 25 cents for these at a local thrift store. And I sold them for a hundred and forty nine dollars. And ninety five so, cents. And ninety five cents. <laughs> I might. I think I might have take a best offer on these for one nineteen. Yeah, maybe we something did. Something like yeah. that. Yep. The um, yeah. The thing about Aldens and you know these kind of vintage shoes is, you know, it, it's conditioned too. I yeah. mean, a lot of it's conditioned. But the thing is, is that if the quality sh of the shoe is there, people will spend the money to put new heels on it mm -hmm. and this Different shoe sole. it has a really have, odd sole may have a new heel from who knows if yeah. that's the original right. equipment on this thing no idea people will spend money to have take these to a cobbler and actually you know get and they them, hold up forever that's fixed. why and you see a lot of vintage ones it's a classic it, style too yep. and it really quite goes out of style it's just a typical dress shoe that you know exactly so. yeah this pair of Skechers, um, Skechers, I know everyone thinks of the Skecher Go Walks and sneakers and so forth, but this is a leather shoe. I mean, it, it's very nice little, like a chuck-a-boot kind of. 
but um I picked it up because I don't see those very often very very little wear on them so they were men's size eight and a half which is a little small but it's the relax fit memory foam so and they're in real good shape i mean you still excellent. read everything on yes, it exactly. when you can read stuff on the insoles generally that's a yes, good sign they unless, had much unless it's had a yeah. new insult but, but yeah but, but i mean yeah. you know they probably paid shoe prices so these are 5.99 and sold them for 40. clark's of course clark's or clark's or clark's these woven ones always seem to do kind of well um mm. because they're interesting and i don't know if they're making them still you know but these are the classic ones, you know, that, that have been around forever. Uh, I, I do the bend test on Clark's, make sure that they're in decent shape and don't have a ton of wear on the bottom. And, um, I mean, you can tell if a shoe's had wear, you know, look for the outside edges and the pattern. If the pattern's worn completely off, then, you know, there's been too much wear. But, yep, they sold for thirty four ninety five and bought them for $5.99. Another pair of Clarks. Uh, these are the Ortholite men's, you know, leather shoes. Just Clarks men's seem to sell pretty consistently, you know, but uh, they're not a high dollar item. Got twenty four ninety five for them. And I'm, a lot of times I'll buy these at half, and it's hard for me to figure out if I did or I didn't buy these at the half price days or if it's the color of the week. Because yeah. they're shoes I'll only buy when they're half price, you know. Right. And if it's going to break twenty four ninety five, generally that's one that we would try to get half price. So. Correct, because I don't mind three dollars. If you're in a market like one of our one of our viewers said that in his market out in Seattle that there's like shoes are twenty dollars. Twenty dollars starting at shoes. My goodness, I feel bad for him because that's that's tough to make a profit on that. When I you, mean, yeah. Unless you get some Allen Aldmans or Allen yeah. Edmonds or, or Aldens and things like that. I guess, that, yeah. yeah. You'd but have I to mean, have some really high end shoes. rolling into a Goodwill and paying twenty dollars for a pair of Skechers. Yeah, that's I mean, nuts. that's nuts. I so. mean, and in Virginia, that same shoe's three bucks. Yeah. So all adult shoes are three dollars in Southern Virginia. So I don't know if that was a he or a she. I don't remember. But I don't uh, either. But uh, but anyway. Um, so yeah. Earthfin uh, again. Earth. This is if you look at the logo. This is that same company. Earth. This is Calso Earth. Same company. They're they have all different logos over the years. But that's it's again not Earth Origins. When you see that earth and that green line, that's Calso Earth. And, that in, you know, that little green swipe is kind of a little like the Nike swipe, you know. But this was the fin and uh, mm -hmm. made by Calso Earth. And these are always a consistent seller. So bought them for five ninety nine probably and sold them for 35 don't know why this just <laughs> jumped up and left. I, you know, we've had this for a little while, but it's our little Christmas Santa tie. And, you know, there's certain Santa ties we buy and then mo a lot of them we pass on. But if it's a silk tie, a lot of times, yeah, if we're in the mood, we buy them. Yeah. But we don't, you didn't make any money on yeah, these. You $9, know? So, yeah, $9. You know, we bought them for $1.99. We sold it for 10 and paid $4 in shipping. So, yeah, so not, not a business we want to be in. But no. I have bought ties for the same $1.99 and I sold one for, I mean, I was selling a couple of them for fifty nine ninety five. That's a good business yeah. to be in. I mean, you know how many ties you can store in a bin? Yeah. And they we have a little half and, bin. I mean, it's not even a full right, bin. Right, exactly. Like, yeah, and and like you pop them high. into a six by nine padded mailer, and they cost $2.80 to ship. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic business if people yeah. were. You need to get more, more than nine ninety nine for them. But, you yes. know, hey, it's the Christmas season. But right, some so. of them really, really sell, boy, I'm telling you. SAS, SAS is always sell. I don't know if any of y'all did. I last night I decided I'm going to go see what SAS is sell for. Lo and behold, I about fell out when I saw. I went to the SAS site and, and there isn't a pair of shoes under one hundred and twenty nine dollars. Yeah, they're very expensive. So, so when you people... come all, oh, across a nice pair of SASs, I mean twelve double wide men's, you can't go wrong with something that wide and everything. These sold for seventy dollars. Yeah. And I spent seven ninety nine on these. These came out of Murfreesboro. This this was on a whim. We are definitely not sneaker people. Yeah. I mean, I buy sneakers because I I know my sneakers. I don't wear Nikes, you know, because 
I just don't know them. Sneakers is an entirely different game. I mean, oh, people goodness, yes. really, oh my goodness. I mean, people are just. There's people that can glance at that, tell you what year it was made, right. who made it, who wore it, who designed it, and if that's a fake. No. I don't know yeah. a thing about them. And I mean, I watch other resellers' videos and so forth, and I say, oh, yeah, that's a fake, they say. I'm like, I wouldn't know anything about it. Yeah, these so are $300, $400, $500 no. dollar Nikes either. No. From there, but, so. but I did look them up. They were, for a white sneaker, they were exceptionally clean. Yeah. So I said, eh, I'll look them up because they had a lot of things going on on them. You know, and uh, lo and behold, they actually sold for a little bit of money, so I bought them. But I'm, we we don't ever, ever really get into that. Yeah. I mean, we're just not, you know. But there's little wear, and they were just so unusual, you know. Yeah, Nikes are easy to look up and such. If you look at these numbers here, there's usually this this number, yeah, this just, six digit you number you down type here. Type in or the three one eight four two nine and, and the dash, those, and then the one 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 is, is the color. Colors, yeah. So. so in the year that they were made, and you always want to get that in your pictures, you know, yeah. but uh, I just, we just don't know enough about them to get into these high-end sneakers. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I f came across this. It was, I noticed that it was the vintage guest label and I said, I'll take a shot. It's really unusual. It's all covered in fishes. And we just took a shot and, you know, it was purple and teal and, yeah. Pretty crazy. It was an extra large, good size. It was 100% cotton, which, you know, is a good thing. It's just a oddest shirt I've ever seen. But, you know, for a four ninety three ninety nine investment, whatever, yeah. it, it would have sat there forever. So I'm sure. But, yeah, we picked that up, and I sold it for thirty nine ninety five. dollars You probably got this from watching Paul can, too, because he yeah. says fishes get you hell up. Well, we won't say it, but anyway. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's just it's just a really unusual it's a cool shirt, shirt though. you know. And the more obnoxious a shirt is, generally, the, I wish we still had pictures of that one shirt with all the red, with the red shirt with all the zebras on it, oh, that yeah. silk one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, a four ninety nine shirt sold for $114. It's yeah, crazy. It's crazy. All right. Well, we one of our thrift thrifting trips a few years ago. I think maybe when we went down to Florida, didn't we, or did Virginia. we get this in Virginia? Virginia. Okay, Virginia. We picked up. They had a bunch of these new in the bag uh, hand warmers and neck warmers and all kinds of warmers things for hunting and that guy. Balaclavas. They, they have the yeah. little uh, you know little heat thingies in them that go in there and keep you warm. Yep. Um, so we decided not to try to sell those on Amazon because Amazon gets funky about explosives and chemicals. burning things and chemicals and stuff. So <laughs> I so guess said, that hot hand <laughs> stuff can get away from you. Yeah, you never know. I don't want to burn down the Amazon plant. But anyway, Amazon building. But um, yeah, so anyway, so we bought the a bunch of these. I don't know how many we bought. Maybe about 20 of them or so. And we, we've been selling yeah. a few of them, a couple, three every, yeah, every few months or the, so. The so hand on. things like the mufflers yeah. where you stick your hands in. But I, they, do... I think we paid like a dollar ninety nine or something for them. It wasn't much, was it? Or maybe it was... the neck gaiters. Those were a dollar seventeen yeah. a piece. These were probably a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. And then the I want to call it a muff because I had muffs when I was a kid, but that would make a guy cringe. But because they, I think they're called mufflers or whatever, but they're fantastically warm. But, uh, yeah, everything was under $2. Yeah. Each one was under $2. And they had $2. boxes of them. I mean, yeah. We could have bought bought the place out. I'm yeah. glad we didn't. We bought enough of them, though. But yeah, we, and we we'll still be got selling a few. them for a while. Yeah, if you need one, we got a couple more. We got three <laughs> so, more available. Yeah. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren, Lauren, whichever you want to call it, packable down jacket. We st I stumbled upon this at a th it was at a yard sale. And uh, the person said, oh, I'll take, they wanted 10, and I talked them down to 8 or 7, something like that. But, I mean, I always look at the, con whenever you see a puffy jacket like this, uh, you know, check the tag, if it's truly down, and if it's even remotely a brand. I mean, any any brand. I mean, I've sold Timberland and, and different, but the real down jackets, especially the packable puffers and so forth, they will sell if you're getting them for a good price. Yeah. So I turned eight dollars into eighty, you know. Yeah. Eastland Classic twos. Okay. Yeah, penny got, loafers. I got two Again, pairs of the these penny. at the same time. Two pairs of Eastland Classics. You can tell when people donate their shoes because you'll get two or threes the same. But these are a super soft leather. Really, really nice. 
Eastland is a name that everybody knows. They are expensive if you have to buy them new. Just looked for the wear, and I said, you know, these are way too classic a shoe. Somebody's going to like these. And uh, so they were $40. Bought them for $5.99. This was a pair of East Fifth women's pants. These, <laughs> these were returned as well. So... Um, not not because they didn't fit though they were returned because she said you know you said they were black and i'm like okay but anyways yeah, um black with red pinstripes yeah that and they didn't like the pinstripes or something i guess, I guess they said know, these were so, supposed to be red pins uh, they know, were supposed to be all were. black pants so we took it back but they're not. we do they're, free returns uh no questions asked yeah. just no problem yeah there's a lot of debate about whether you should do that or not we just we do it. it i don't think we've seen any difference in our return rate since we've gone to free returns honestly it's been about no, the same we haven't maybe had a percent ab abusing yeah. it and you know it's just yeah. it's really a matter of customer service it's like People I nowadays expect it, you know, they really do in a way because Amazon does it and mm -hmm. so many places do it. So And and there's right. a lot of debate on the, you know, the you know, whether you should take returns, whether you shouldn't. This, that, you know, you got to do what feels right to you in your yeah. business. And I mean honestly, if you we don't offer free shipping. Right. So you know, free so returns somebody return, is okay. Right. If somebody returns it, the way that works too is if somebody returns it because it doesn't fit or some reason that wasn't our fault. You know, mm -hmm. usually fit is the biggest thing with ours with shoes and clothes. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't fit, then they can return it. We pay the shipping back, but they still have to pay the shipping. We that, don't refund that they their paid original originally. shipping. Right. right. So we split it with them more or less. Now, if the way they they can get around that is if they go in and say, well, there's something wrong with these shoes. These shoes, you know, were the wrong color, right. you know, like, or whatever. Yeah. And that's what this person, you know, sometimes they do that. And so we and don't. if they do do that and, 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 you're, and you clearly were correct on your listing, you can just call eBay and discuss it with them. Yeah. We've done that before and had yes. them, you know, say, well, you know, the, uh, you don't have to refund them, everything. And, and it all depends. Sometimes it's just worth it just to go ahead and. And Not do it. Like, I mean, you know, we're talking about it like, well, this this is the next one here. I moved ahead. But like on this, this is $30. I mean, $30 in the grand scheme of business, mm -hmm. you know, to make a customer angry. Right. Some people would say, hey, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to block them. I'm going to block them or whatever. But, you know, we, you know, we kind of take the kind of low key, like, yeah, you know, let's just go overboard with customer service. Most of the time it, it, it serves us well. It, does. You know, it really and does. I mean, we we've we've gotten more good reviews from people that we've screwed up on. <laughs> I mean, we screwed up on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, we goodness. sent them the wrong thing, or we oh, sent yeah. them something that fell apart. Yeah. I mean, shoes sometimes, like we were talking about earlier, you may think they look perfect, and then you know you go to ship them, and then the person wears them for four four hours, and they could fall apart. We've yeah, had I that have happen several brand times. Brand new with tag shoes. Yeah. I sent to somebody and they disintegrated on their feet. It, you just don't know if that shoe is stored improperly before it ever got to Goodwill. It, it could have broken down and you just don't know it yet. Yeah. So, you know, so. so but we've, but by being, you know, going overboard Humble, with, with, with customer that. service and, and even sometimes when we're know we're right and we, you know, we're, we're older, okay? Yeah. And yeah. we've come up from the, you know, the old school, the customer's always right. And, and we've wor both worked in customer service, and Marie still does yeah. uh, every day. Yeah. And I mean, I guess every job in some way or another, you have a customer. I, I work with IT, and we have internal customers more than we have external mm -hmm. customers. But I've worked in you know the service industry too for years, and it, it, it's just. It's just good customer service to, to treat people the way you'd want to be treated. And it's not worth the fight. Right. It's just like we don't wait to give a customer a good review till they give us one. Mm -mm. There's things that we just, it's just, we just don't get into that splitting hairs. And if you, know? you yeah, and if you have a store, you can set your your uh, your store to automatically just give them a, a canned review. You know? Right. We have it, like about five or six that cycles through automatically. And If they it, paid me for, for what they bought... 
they should get a good review. Yeah. They, they, you know. And, you know, the big secret is, if, <laughs> the worst kept secret ever, is that you can't give a bad review to a buyer anyway. Right. So what does it hurt you really to give them a good one? Even if you give them a good one and they're not so good, you can't give them a bad one. Right. So all you can do is not give them one. Right. And that really doesn't help you. Um, so, yeah. I mean, and a lot of times I think sometimes that that kind of giving them a good review to start with kind of indebts them to you a little bit, yeah. so, you know, sometimes. But, yeah. Maybe it, always, or, it or at least work, encourages but... them to give you a review because right. you'll it... find that that maybe 20% of your customers that you sell to will give you a review. Yeah. I mean, we sell 800 items a year. We've been doing this about three years. Mm -hmm. So you figured that's... 2400 items we've sold and we have eight 780 reviews yeah yeah That's and they're all yeah they're all positive on, yeah they are we, <laughs> yeah. you know we have had I mean, a couple of negatives through the years but yeah, you know from yeah. stuff and happens. there's people that do crazy things and, and you can't you can't fix crazy and you can't punish all of your customers for one lunatic right honestly and 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 we do that we we go through our day and we always remember the worst thing that happened to us that day not the hundreds of things that were wonderful right we remember our worst customers and don't punish your customers because of one bad person yeah like the people that have i mean again if you're one of these people i apologize everybody's got to do what they think is right i mean exactly. it, it's it's your your store your your business, your business. you do what you exactly. got to do for us uh, we don't we don't put hundreds of disclaimers on our stuff. No. We we try to, I mean, if we've got some, we try to disclose everything. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to be honest with somebody. We try to say, hey, this is, you know, this is for repair or, you know, that kind of yeah. thing. If it's a hard good that we haven't tested or whatever. But, you know, we've you've got to, you got to do what's right for you. But these, I've seen sites where I, I personally don't like that when I see a, a seller that's got 40 million disclaimers on oh, there. I don't even want to do business with them. And so if, and if that's me. Wrong, you know? Don't leave me feedback. Make sure you call right. me. Blah. And nobody reads oh, that stuff goodness, anyway. Gracious. Yeah, I don't think. sell your item and move on. Yeah. Deal with the bad things. Don't anticipate. You're, you're already accusing them of being a problem. <laughs> That's right. the way I feel like. Yeah, it. I take it like an attack on me. Yeah, it's kind of it kind of makes you feel like a criminal doing business with them. So exactly. I, I, that's that's our take on it. I mean, again, some I mean, people may the... say, "Hey, I got to, I got burned." Now it depends on what you're selling too. Now, yeah. Let me back up a little bit. If you're selling um, video games or iPods or you know iPads or things like that, things that are high. You know, scam, high fraud, high fraud yeah. you know, item. I mean, not by the sellers, but by the buyers. People will buy them and yeah, send back a box send of rocks or whatever. Bad one. Yeah, or send yeah. back their bad one, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, if you're selling that kind of stuff, you know, some of those disclaimers maybe, you know, might make sense. But, uh, you know, because I've seen ones where people say, we will persecute you if you yeah. fraud, you know. And I mean, that's fine. If you need to do that, you need to, that's your store, you know. Yep. But you do what for you us, need to do. we're selling shoes and clothing, mostly a few hard that goods here and there. we picked up at Goodwill. I mean, yeah. if we again, lose it, we know, lose it. this is, this, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if we lose it, we lose. We don't know, we, sell we, the we, Hope we, Diamond. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so. even worst case scenario, we spent, let's say we spent $8 to ship it two ways. That's, you know, $16 and then $30, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, really in your, yeah. in your business, if your business is that close to the wire, then, you know, it's probably right. really young, <laughs> you know, right, it needs exactly. to mature. And, and it and, doesn't, it you know, doesn't it, happen very often. No, it, it doesn't. Really, you're going to have returns. You're going to have in, returns. If you're in clothing and shoes, you're going to have returns. You absolutely return. will. Yeah. And, you know, you can honestly make the conscious decision to not offer returns. You are, if. if if things are tight, we didn't, you know. There's things we don't do returns on. I mean, absolutely. big, giant, heavy things right? that are that are that are tested. for parts only <laughs> yeah. and things like that. And you are welcome to do no returns. And that's there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing yeah. wrong with that at all. Okay, we now rejoin our regularly scheduled yeah. program, <laughs> program yeah. already in progress here. Uh, wait a minute, did yeah? yeah. Did we go yeah. do did these? Those, yeah. Maybe those. Okay, let's try this one. These are I I bought these because. I thought Dave would like them, but that's okay. But they're um, they're they make a lot of noise because they're the windbreaker ones. But they were like they were brand spanking new. They were beautiful, so um, they have that fleece lining in them and stuff. So picked them up for four ninety nine and sold them for twenty five. Mm -hmm. It's like fine, you don't want it. I'm gonna sell it out from under you. <laughs> okay, these are Timberland women's shoes. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. Never thought they would be Timberlands, but they are. Uh, just something totally I've never seen before, but you can tell by looking at something that it's quality. Timberland is, a, you know, you have to know the little logos and yeah. so forth. Timberland's a real popular brand. Um, 
I thought these were some sort of an athletic thing myself. I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, high top like wrestling. Some kind of specialties. Yeah, yeah, yeah like they wrestling like boots, wrestling or, something. boots yeah. or something. But they weren't. So there yeah. we go. I had to look them up on eBay, bought them yeah. for five ninety nine and sold them for forty dollars. Yeah, Timberland, I mean, it can be all over the map, all too. It could map. be worthless. It could it's be, not a yeah. super high-end brand, yeah. but it's a good quality brand. Yeah. I mean, even like Hush Puppies, they get a bad name, but Hush Puppies is a good shoe. Yeah. Rockport's, of course, they that's another one of those mediocre brands, but there's certain ones of them, certain designs. When you get into these right here, and you're looking at a wingtip, that's a single wing, and you're looking at the the wingtip there, if on the inside it tells you that it's an Al Martin Adaprene men's black wingtip, you know, so it's, and you've got to look it all up, you know, so, because it says, and then you, it, you find out, oh my goodness, they actually sell for decent money. They're a real lightweight men's dress shoe. Yeah, and so. the other one, this one is, um, it's got the orthoprene, what is it, orthoprene? Adaprene. Adaprene, rather. Adaprene uh, Adidas, by Adidas. Uh -huh. Kind of co -branded. Super comfort, yeah. yes, exactly. So sometimes that's a clue, you know, something, it's not necessarily a given, but it's, sometimes it's a clue if you see Adidas's name on something along with a different brand. It's it maybe is worth looking up. Yeah, you know? Kohan with Nike Air. Right, you know, those you're kind of see that a lot. But yeah. I, I was surprised that they they drew what they did. But a good size, eleven M's. You know, yeah. that's a great size. And the classic wingtip yeah. shoe with the broguing on the end. The broguing is these little holes. Yep. So, just saying. Yeah. And yeah, I said five ninety nine. Yep. We paid for them, sold them for fifty five. Mm -hmm. Ten times my money, I'll take it. Merrell's, you know you. Again, one of those shoes you just got to check to make sure they haven't been worn out. I only buy Merrells that, that are in good shape. I I don't want to make excuses for my shoes, so I'd rather just put it back if that's the case. But these were a pretty popular shoe. Sold them for $40. Yeah. And, I, and I do put the uh, item number. This is just crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you put these in here. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, Hi, for, Mom. <laughs> for those of you who have parents, siblings, friends, and they find out you're selling on eBay, you get stuff from them. My mother found, we were coming to Florida, and lo and behold, what was greeting us was seven totes of things where she cleaned out her closet. <laughs> We were extremely appreciative. Yeah, because, yeah I mean, some great stuff. It in there. was wonderful. So we're going through here, and this is what I come across. I'm like, where did my mom get these? But anyways, and they, she has matching little nightgown things that go that are go with them on all the colors. So and they're really pretty, you know. And you haven't and, you haven't lived until you photographed your mother-in-law's nightgowns. Oh hush! But anyways, <laughs> these these are three really nice pairs of shoes, you know. And I'm like. I was going to, you know, sell them individually. And they said, no, I'm going to lot them together. And sure enough, they sold, I think you know, we took an offer on these two, didn't we? Didn't I we think take so, $39.95. Like $39.95 yep, or something exactly, like that. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But, I mean, it sold all three pairs, you know. Yeah, when we're showing this, we're just going through our sold. So just in case you're wondering, you can always look these up on um, eBay because they'll show up and, and if you want to yeah. double check our work. But, um yeah, I mean, some of these things may have we may have taken offers on we forgot about, but uh, but this doesn't show the offer price on this. Yeah. This is just our our going through our sold listings and it I pop them up here so we can just show them real quick. Yeah, takes less time. Another Clark's here. Yeah, women's ankle shoes. These were again didn't realize they were Clark's. You know, I've never seen this before, but. You'll see some crazy stuff in the Clarks, that's for sure. Yeah, they've got all kinds yeah. of stuff. And they've got almost a, like a gum sole, kind of, but uh, very comfortable shoes, very nice. And mm. these are Tory Birches. Tory Birch. Uh, we don't run across a lot of Tory Birch. Tory Birch is kind of expensive stuff, but these weren't in the best of shape. I really wasn't going to buy them. And then I looked, and sure enough, you know, even not in the best of shape, they sold, they sell. So I touched them up a little because, you know, I had to get some leather polish because the heels on these are actually leather all around the outside of them. So I had gray shoe polish. So I polished up the heels and I, that's about all I really had to do to them. Sold them for $44.95. Right. 
Skechers, again, men's Skechers sell well. Women's Skechers, not so much. You don't get enough for them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, sold for forty four ninety five. Yeah. They have a great following, so especially if they're in good shape, because they get tore up. And these are a little distressed, but they're still in good shape. They're just they're right. That's sort that of new book that look, looks that yeah, way. Supposed yeah. to look that way. Let's go Titans! Hey, the Titans are in the playoffs this year. Yeah, almost. Well, we're in the playoffs. Yeah. Oh yeah, we yeah, are in the yeah, playoffs. That's true. Yeah. We're, we're in. We're, we're the wild card. Yeah, but yeah. we're there. Hey, has <laughs> better than we've been in a long time. But anyway, yeah. this is. Uh, I guess this was. Is this a vintage one? Yeah, oh, yeah. it's a vintage, vintage. one. It's an old, old Titans old from logos, way back. National yeah. Football League. So, yeah, people. You know, we newer Titans stuff doesn't really do well for us because there's, it's, so much there's so much of it out there and it's yeah. not the biggest team name in the in the United States you know it's not like the Cowboys or Steelers or things like that but but uh, we have sold unique Titans thing like we yeah. had a baseball sure. jersey yes. you know that, yeah. that we was sold that had to buttons overseas, in the front like Korea. Yeah. yeah it was it's nuts yeah. so so yeah if you see old stuff you know any any NFL team especially you know, that's vintage in, it's in vintage. your area. I mean, if you live in the Green Bay area, your vintage I mean, Green Bay is going to sell. You know, yeah. people like that old stuff, and you want to make sure it's in decent shape. But this was in really nice shape. And, and we've even sold Browns stuff. I mean, yeah, it, when yeah, the Browns whatever. aren't having a good year, or doesn't Detroit matter. Tigers, when they're not, you know, it doesn't matter. People are loyal to their team. Whoops. We're and, loyal uh, to ours. You know, so. and we, yep. So. Anyway. A pair of Merrells. Merrells sell, but again, Merrells one of those shoes that people wear. Yeah. They wear them to death, so and really, really look at them good. This so. one we didn't get a lot of money for. No, but that's, okay. that, that's not the most common sizes. And Corcoran is Cor Cor Corcoran. I can't talk tonight. Yep. Corcoran is a uh, you know is a military boot. Um, these do well generally. I mean, they go all over the map. Though some of them are the ones that of are dollars, all, and some the ones are, that are all leather. Yeah. sell for a little bit higher this is the ones that's mixed media you could say so they're leather and and uh, you got a little cloth at the top cloth yeah. at the top and Cotton this and that whatever. more of a like a Tactical. i think they call them a jungle boot well, when they yeah, yeah, when they have the, boot, yeah. the fabric on them yeah but yep yeah, so and they always have a style number in them these are the nine thousands you know yeah. so easy to look they up. were five dollars and 99 cents and sold them sold for, for 40. 40. yeah yep. not bad this is a 1968 Mustang model. I'm not even sure where I got this from. Um, I don't know, probably a yard sale, possibly a mm -hmm. thrift store. I don't know. Usually thrift stores, they cost just 2 or $3. So mm -hmm. I picked it up. and um, Unopened. I thought it, was, it was unopened. And that's the key to it, too. Yep. I, I wouldn't have bought it at all if it was open just because you just never know if there's one piece missing that's right, right. going to tick somebody off and then leave yeah. you a bad review. So not worth it. But not a lot of money here. But, you know, it's like for... A couple dollar investment, yeah, you know, twenty two ninety five. Yeah, if you're just starting out and you don't have tons of cash to throw around, then yes, yeah, and they're it, lightweight and easy to ship. Another uh, another interesting one, Randy Moss, who actually was a Titan for a while. Yes, huh? towards yeah, the end of his, I think his last yeah. last job was as a Titan. But anyway, um, you know, Hall of Famer, you know, phenomenal receiver. But um, it, you know, his, his, uh, his, we've got two of these. This is one, and and it wasn't in the best of shape. It was was still in the box, but it's sort of a um, you know, it's a figurine. It's really not even a bobblehead or anything yeah. like that. But but yeah, I mean, you know, somebody bought it in New York City, I think, and yeah. wanted it. Somebody's a Randy Moss fan or I think something. You took a, I think I might have even taken an offer on I it for, for twelve ninety five like or that. something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, nothing. I mean, these things, you know, they. It, it depends on the player, really. And yeah, look it up. But uh, you know, Randy Moss is fairly popular. So this yeah. was from the Minnesota Vikings, I think, actually, when he was mm -hmm. on there. So. Two thousand one. Yeah. So. Uh, polo Ralph Lauren, polo shirts. You know, we stick with the ones that have the bright colors that are just. You know, a plain one like that that was just black or blue. You're not going to get anything for. This just had some neat color blocking on it, so we picked it up. You're still, and that's a vintage label there. And it's also an extra large, which exactly. is, is a good size to have. And yeah. the colors were still bright. You know, there's always going to be a touch of fading, but they, they had good solid color blocking. So, and that kind of stuff draws people. So right now, that one sold for, I 
can't remember what that one went for. Twenty four ninety five. Yeah. So four ninety nine into twenty four ninety five, and yeah. you know, same as shoes. I mean, the shoes in them cost about the same, and twenty four ninety five is a lot less storage. Yeah. You know. Honestly. And the other thing too is you can pick these up at yard sales through the yes. summer months if you're in a, a cold area, or if you're in dollar. Florida, sometimes you can pick them up all year round. But. Yep. Uh, you know, things There's like church that. sales. So if you get stuff. them for fifty cents and you sell them for twenty four ninety five, that's a much better deal. Yep. You know, because there are fees and that kind of thing is going to come out of it. So these are interesting. Some Colhans. Yeah, Colhans we women's loafers. These things were in very nice shape. I mean, I thought they were in excellent shape. And they were just real interesting, cute little things. I thought and they were something from like the Wizard of Oz or something. No, <laughs> they, I know. <laughs> like no. like C three PO's wife would wear or something They're, maybe in Star yeah, Wars. But they they were ten double A's. Now double A, everyone's oh narrow shoes. But you know, the thing is, is if you got a double A foot, it's hard, just as hard for you to find shoes as if you have an extra wide foot sometimes. So. Um, you know, yeah, we picked them up, and you see this the co-branding with the yeah. Nike Air. We were talking about earlier. Yeah. yeah. So, yep. Bought yeah. them for three ninety nine, sold them for forty five. Just because something is narrow, or just because it's, um, you know, or, or extra, I mean, people go for the extra wide, the large sizes. But if you're like she's like you say, you know, it's like, you know, if it's if you're narrow foot, you're not mm -hmm. gonna not a lot of people list those as much. Right, and they don't, or they just don't. Or the have really them. huge size, like we had a size seventeen or something mm -hmm. one time, which yeah. you know, that's exactly. Like, why shoes you can usually get a few dollars more, like five dollars more, yeah. you know? So, you know, don't, I mean, I have a wide foot, so I understand the, the torture of finding wides. My mom had a six double A, and she really struggled to find shoes for a long time. So, yeah. so. don't don't steer away from, especially when it's a good brand like Cole Haan. Yeah, look them yeah. up anyway, yeah. yeah. Birkenstocks, again, this is the... Burka Floor Profi Berkey. The Prof P R O F I Berkey is professional for like chef shoes. They're work clog. Um, These are in really good shape. I mean, on the heels anyway. Yeah, I mean, they were in decent I mean, shape. The thing soles. is about Berkeys is, especially when they're made out of this material here, they're, they're washable. Just take them home and clean them up. Yeah. You know, I mean, these right here. You know what I use on these? I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but uh, I use Armor All. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you know, Shines on the outside. I mean, you know, you can use Armor All. You can use Win, uh, not Windex Pledge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you just don't want to use like something mean, like petroleum based. But that's what I use to make them look nice. Yeah. And last but not least, I know we don't show a lot of hard goods in our haul videos, but uh, we do buy them from time to time. And this is something I'm not even really sure. It's one of those systems that you uh, you can, if you got a, a, a spouse that sleeps and you want to watch TV mm -hmm. while they're sleeping, you can put these these Sennheiser. And Sennheiser is top drawer name in the in the microphone world yep. and, and, and headphones and all that stuff. So... Uh, this is a Sennheiser uh, wireless RF, so it's not Bluetooth, but it's wireless RF. It's radio frequency, but they uh, it just it just allows you to to um, you know watch TV without having to disturb other people. So yeah, that's what this is for. So anyway, that should wrap it up tonight. If you um, enjoy these kind of videos, please subscribe to our channel. It really helps out. Please comment, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Give us a thumbs up if you don't, you know, however you want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, either way, you can leave a thumbs up and um, or thumbs down if you really hate it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, we appreciate you listening. And, and hopefully, if you got any questions for us, let us know. Put them in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. That wraps up this video. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.